I never had any intentions of finding trouble, but trouble always seemed to find me. Got your ass. Get off me, I didn't do nothing. Where you think you're going, huh? Huh? Get your ass up. Get up. Don't you think you're a tough guy, huh? Huh? Let's go. Jeremiah? Yes, Ma? Please tell me you're on your way to school. Ma, I have to help you on the house with the bills. I told you, I don't need any help. School is more important. I need you to get your education. Mama, I promise I will. I promise I'll sign up for night school. You know I only want the best for you, Jeremiah. I know, Mama. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, before I formed thee in my belly, I knew thee. And before thou cometh out of the womb, I sanctified thee. Now ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 4 and 5. Yes. I know, Mama. Yes, yes. <sighs> Mama just didn't I know. Boy. I hated when these raggedy clothes to school. <sighs> anything to see her smile. You should go see Reverend Pearl today. <laughs> okay, Mama. I don't like how you said that. Reverend Pearl is a good man. He could help you. And Mama, I promise I'll stop by the church and see Reverend Pearl. That's more like it. Okay. I try to keep the promises that I made to mama. But going back to school and seeing Reverend Pearl are two things I just can't do. Hey, Jeremiah. How's it going, boy? I'm fine. How you doing, Mr. Dishman? Hey, you know, everything is everything. You know, working hard to maintain this shop here. I see. You know, we sure could use your help around here again. I wish I could, but I gotta help my mom out with the bills. Hey, I know how it is, son. But, you know, if I could pay you more, you know I would. So, what are you doing for work these days? Oh, um, me and one of my friends are doing some construction work. Oh, uh, okay now. Just as long as you're staying out of trouble. Of course, but I gotta run, so. All right, Jeremiah. Well, tell Ruth I said hello, all right? How good? All right, boy. What's up? Can get in the car. See the house over there? I've been watching for over a week now. They got tons of stuff in there. Bring home all types of shopping bags and appliances. I know there's cash stash in there somewhere. Plus we can make a killing off the kitchen with it. Can't wait. How long do you think it's gonna take to get everything? It's 
20 minutes tops. You bag up all the valuables. And I'm gonna get the cash. Then we out. It's gonna be simple. Trust me. You can't scared? Nah, I'm good. I can't have you running with me if you scared. I planned this all out. Listen, after this job, we should be able to chill. I mean, look at it. There's enough in there to hold us over. I just don't want mama to worry about feeding us no more, paying the bills. I'm tired of seeing how I work so hard. We're gonna make sure mama doesn't have to do that. Little man. <laughs> Alright, enough with all this soft stuff. Come on. Let's get in there and get rich. You ready? I'm ready. Come on. Watch my back. Grab anything that looks valuable. I'm going for the money. Let me in and out. Come on. Find money yet? You think you just gonna come in here and get away with all my stuff? Answer me, boy! No, no, sir. Turn around! Jeremiah! Jeremiah! Boy, what in the world is going on? Got the money, let's go. Oh. Bastard! I can't believe you, boy! You out here robbing houses! That's what you and that punk are doing! Uh, uh, Mr. Calhoun, I know it's your house, I swear. It don't matter if you ain't know! Ain't you supposed to be in school right now? Boy, your mama's gonna be crushed when she finds this out. Mr. Calhoun, please don't tell my mama. Please don't tell her. If you're gonna tell her, just shoot me, but please. I would. I would. But I got too much respect for your mama. Just please don't tell her. If I ever catch you in this neighborhood again, I'm gonna take you out myself. You understand me? Get out of here! Mr. Calhoun? What? Can I use your phone, please?
So Reverend tell me, if there is a God, why would he make mom suffer? Why would he make her have to work so hard just for us to eat? God's not here to make us suffer or to hurt us. God never promised that every day was gonna be good. But he did promise us that he wouldn't turn his back on us in our darkest days. Yeah. Why do you think your mother's faith in God is so strong? And I guess was strong my father used to beat her, right? And I guess God was there all those nights when she used to cry when she thought we were asleep. And your mother's still standing strong with God. No weapon formed against her could prosper. Not even your father's hand. Reverend, I just want what's best for mama. Not by breaking into people's homes, boy. <laughs> That's gonna land you in prison. Is that where you wanna be? It's just that I can't see her like this no more. Sometimes you gotta do the wrong things for the right reason. Having good intentions is never guaranteed to fix your problems. And looking to the Lord can do that. Now, don't get caught up in how bad you think your life is and forget about all the blessings you have. A wise man once told me, I cried because I had no shoes until I met a man that had no feet. Now, there's always someone out there worse off than we are, but it's our faith. You hear me, son? Our faith in the Lord that keeps us pushing. Well, I'm the man with no feet. Jeremiah. Reverend, thank you for coming to get me from Mr. Calhoun's house. Anytime. You're a good kid with a lot of potential, and your mother's very proud of you. And I want to keep it that way, so can you please not tell her about today? I suppose we can keep it between me, you, and the man upstairs. Let's say you start coming back and getting more reacquainted with his word. I can't. I gotta start looking for a job for a night school starts. No, I'm sure we can find you a job that won't interfere with your Sunday. Look, I know you're trying to be nice, but you don't got to. Jeremiah, you're not my son nor a relative. But we are family in Christ. And I help my family in need. Well, I don't need your help. In case you forgot, let me reintroduce myself. Hello, my name is Trouble. Jeremiah, don't you forget why your mother named you Jeremiah. Now I'll be here if you need me. Walk with God on your side and you'll be all right. You hear me? Walk with God on your side. I know you weren't expecting my visit. This procedure. Read me my last rites. No, actually, I wanted to be here. And your mother wanted me to see you. Right. I bet you she did. Right about now, I bet you she's on her knees, praying to God for a miracle to save her poor confused child, asking him to give her baby another chance. Lord, just give my baby one more chance. <laughs> praying to a God that don't exist. Held that conclusion for the last five years, haven't you? Hmm. 
nothing's changed. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before thy formed in thy belly, I Please knew don't. thee. Please don't come in here and shove Bible scriptures down my throat three hours before I'm about to be fried. In three hours! When I'm sitting in that chair, your God and your Jesus won't be there to save me. Boy, I didn't come here to shove the Bible down your throat. Jeremiah, only your flesh is going to be in that electric chair. Not your soul, son. Not your soul. Or if my soul died a long time ago. It's been gone. <laughs> they think it's going to be so much fun pulling that switch. I know they do. It's okay. <laughs> it is kind of funny when they think about it. They think they're about to kill me. Truth is, I'm already dead. You can go now.